we have been lied to, we have been deceived, and we have been robbed of what it means to be human, the essence of being a human. You have been conditioned, you have been indoctrinated, and that is a shame, because what does that mean? It means that most of humanity isn't actually living. When you're in the fog, you can't see the fog, but my goodness, when you get out of the fog, I am the captain of my own ship. The biggest fear for everyone in life is dying. What's gonna happen when I die? The biggest fear should be getting to death having never really lived. And if you don't admit that, it's a dangerous thing. And people get mad at me, but if you come to my channel, I'm gonna give you the truth, I'm gonna give you honesty. I'm not gonna coddle you. My big carnivore epiphany is all of these health issues heal, but do you know what happens that nobody talks about, that I'm gonna tell you about right now? This is what happens. Beep. Carrie here from Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet. I'm a proud carnivore, along with my carnivore sidekick, Baxter, right there. Eating a proper human diet has changed my life forever. I'm down over 100 pounds since my heaviest, but I don't care about the weight. I overcame so many other issues, but something even more profound happened than all of those issues. Something that I don't see other people talking about. Something that I'm going to cover in today's video. Just to quickly recap for those that are new, I'm down over 100 pounds since my heaviest. I was diagnosed with IBS. That is gone. I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. I had a CPAP machine. I don't need it anymore. I don't snore anymore. Two kidney stones. I had my gallbladder removed. I had my appendix burst all from all these stomach issues I had. I have no stomach issues anymore. The last thing for me was arthritis. I had it in my elbows. I had it in my lower back. I had it in my foot so bad. They diagnosed me with gout. They put me on all sorts of medications. They said, we're going to have to do surgery on that toe. For 18 months, I hobbled around suffering from that pain completely gone on a proper human diet. It's been a little over a year for me and it has changed my life profoundly and forever. I'm doing a documentary called Healing Humanity. We're gonna change the world with this carnivore diet movie. Mark my words, we're gonna reach millions of people. I'm not gonna stop until we do. Now I'm seeing this change the lives of my very close family, my girls. I have triplets plus one, they're all carnivore. My wife Jen is now carnivore and absolutely thriving. I witnessed my wife, who I wish to grow old with, healing over the course of a couple days just after she started carnivore watching that inflammation go away. I actually recorded her. I recorded her sleeping. She was snoring like crazy before carnivore and on the second day of carnivore she was snoring a little bit less. On the third day a little bit less. On the fourth day even more. On the fifth day she stopped snoring completely. I'm seeing it in her face. I'm seeing it in her body. I'm seeing it in her spirit. I'm seeing it in her mood. I'm witnessing my wife healing. She's on uh, she's heading towards day 30 on carnivore right now and she's doing absolutely awesome. Carnivore is life changing for so many people. It's not carnivore though. What are we doing here? I'm not telling you, meat is a magic pill that's going to cure everything for you. What I'm telling you is humanity has escaped from what is natural and eliminating all of that garbage and eating meat, the most natural thing we can get, the most uninflammatory, nutrient dense food in the world that we can eat will heal everything. It's like you're telling your body, I'm gonna just step to the side and I'm gonna let you do your own thing and everything heals and everything gets better. The crazy part is, it's, it's, it's better than our normal, but it, it should be the norm. All humans should feel the way I feel, free from inflammation with a smile on my face, full of energy. No aches and pains or brain fog. My big carnivore epiphany is all of these health issues heal, but do you know what happens that nobody talks about that I'm going to tell you about right now? This is what happens. For the first time in my life, I feel like a human, fulfilling my potential as a human. What does that mean? What does all of that mean? What does it mean to be human? Well, one of the things that sets humans apart from the millions of species on this planet Free will. We're born with free will. Huma humans have free will, and that's what sets us apart. But do we really have free will? I would argue the majority of humanity does not have free will. What compromises free will? Addiction. Addiction, if you know anyone that's addicted to something, they have compromised their free will, and that addiction has taken over their life. Alcohol. Perfect example most people are familiar with. That person had free will and had decisions and had goals and hopes and they, they were charting a path in their life and then this addiction took over and the addiction is leading their path. It's stealing the free will from them. 
The drink, the alcohol, the addiction, that's overcoming everything else and all of their decisions are now focused around that addiction. The same thing is true for other addictions in life, other sorts of drugs. And I would argue the biggest addiction in the world that goes unrecognized and people get mad at me, but I'm going to always tell you the truth. I'm not going to coddle people because it makes them feel uncomfortable. Humanity is addicted to processed foods, ultra processed foods, sugar, and the standard American diet. Humanity is addicted to all of these things that depart us from what is natural and that steal from us our free will and what it means to be human. Now you may think that's dramatic, but I, I urge you, take a big step back and try to look at this. Imagine you're an alien in a spaceship observing humans for the first time. You'd say, what, the, what are their motivations? Like, why are they doing all of these things? Why are they eating all of this junk that is clearly hurting them? Why are their bellies just boom, 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 getting bigger and bigger? Why are they suffering cancer at just, just crazy rates, younger and younger? Why are they getting their kids hooked early on this from a young age? They have free will, they have hopes, they have dreams, they have goals. Now, you get addicted to the standard American diet, which by the way, nobody that is listening to this right now that, that feels kind of weird because I'm saying, you're an addict. I'm an addict. My wife has just admitted to me yesterday, I was addicted to that food and I was trying to act like, that's no big deal, I just like it. No, you don't like it, you're addicted to it. By the way, if you're addicted to that food and you kind of feel a little bit of shame right now or you feel uncomfortable, please don't feel uncomfortable and please don't feel any shame. This food was highly engineered to be highly addictive to you. They are manipulating you. They are lying to you. They are telling you, this stuff isn't that bad. Oh, it's just fine. Have a little bit more. While they're giving you highly addictive substances that have been normalized and that were also, by the way, generationally normalized. It was normalized for your parents and your parents gave it to you. Of course, there's no way that you should know any better. What is that called? That is called indoctrination. You have been conditioned. You have been indoctrinated to just Eh, sugar's fine. That's just the way it is. That's the way it's normal. I'm getting fatter. I'm getting unhealthier. I'm getting sicker. I don't have free will. Every decision I make in life is, what are we going to eat next? What are we going to do next? What are we going to do this next? And then you're going to plop your butt down on the couch because you are fatigued. Why are you fatigued? Because the food you're eating is making you sick. And I call it food, but it's not food. Unless you're eating beef, butter, bacon, eggs, single ingredient items that Humans were intended to eat, you're not eating food. You're putting waste into your body. And what is happening to your body? Your body is wasting away. You have the standard American brain fog. You have fatigue and you are sick. And you are going along with that addiction. And every decision you're making in life is steered by that addiction. You are no longer the captain of your own ship. That addiction is steering you. Humans have free will. That is a true statement. But the majority of humanity living on this earth right now is not exercising their free will because it is being hijacked by this addiction. Many addictions on earth, some people it's hijacked with alcohol, some people it's hijacked with drugs, most people it's hijacked with the food that they're addicted to. And just think about it, when, when, I, give these, when I say this to people, it's, they'll say things like, well, I could never give up my orange juice. I could never give up this. I could never give up that. How is that not an addiction? You don't need those things to survive. You don't need a processed sugary junk cereal in the morning for breakfast to survive. It's doing the opposite of helping you survive. It's slowly killing you. It's literally the opposite. How is that not an addiction when people are like, ah, oh, it's just fine. Oh, I don't have to have it. I just enjoy it, but I could stop at any time, but I'm never gonna stop. I'm never gonna stop, so. The point of this video is to say, what makes humans unique is free will, but most humans are not exercising that free will. And that is a shame because what does that mean? It means that most of humanity isn't actually living. What a shame to have the miracle of life and then squander it, going through your entire life in a brain fog, fatigued stupor, in a slight form of intoxication, almost like you're a little bit drunk your entire life. And you got aches and pains and ailments. Oh, I got a headache. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I can barely get out of bed. Oh, I got to plop down on the couch because my life is so hard. Your life is harder than it needs to be because you're sick, because you're brain fog, 
because you're fatigued, because you're putting toxins in your body that's taking a toll on your body. It's messing with your hormones. It's messing with your sleep. It's messing with your energy. It's messing with your mindset. And it's controlling your free will. What a sad thing that so many humans in this world are going to go their entire lives never having actually lived. We're doing this documentary to show people that are actually living. That's the root of healing humanity. Let's show what it's like for a human to truly live. When you're in the fog, you can't see the fog, but my goodness, when you get out of the fog, you're going to be just like me, and you're going to be shouting from the rooftops, you deserve to live. At least one day, one week, one month in your life feeling like I feel. These last couple weeks, I can't even describe it. I almost feel euphoric. I am so full of joy and gratitude and thankfulness and I'm just, I'm happy. What better measure of success for humanity is there than to be asked someone, how are you happy? How are, how are you doing? And you ask most people nowadays, how are you doing? And they'll be like, uh, I'm fine, just because they don't want to have the conversation. You ask me how I'm doing and I will give you the truth. How am I doing? Better than I deserve, better than I've ever felt my entire life. I am thriving, I am happy, I am grateful, I am blessed. And if I die tomorrow, I will die with a smile on my face and no regrets whatsoever. I'm living every moment to the fullest. And I'm capable of doing that because my free will, my decisions, my life, my humanity is controlled 100% by me. I am the captain of my own ship. Before, I, was, I started out as a captain of my own ship, and then for about 42 years of my life, I was laying on the ground while the ship was in autopilot, heading right into the storm, oblivious to what was going on in the world out there. I am in control. I am the captain. And that is what it means to be human. And if you go your whole life and you never feel that, it's a shame. Our bodies are our temple. It's a privilege. It's a blessing. It's a miracle that each one of us are here. And so I hope this is, encourages you, people out there that are thinking, well, what's my why? What's my reason? Your reason is to feel what it's like to be a human. Your reason is that there's people out there with chronic diseases that may, this may be their last day on earth. This may be their last year on earth. This may be their last breath on earth. And you have an able body that you're squandering and you're going to take to death having never lived. The biggest fear for everyone in life is dying. What's going to happen when I die? The biggest fear should be Quick interruption, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more about our documentary, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet, or supporting it, please visit donate.healinghumanity.movie. Our goal is to reach millions of people that are hopeless right now and sharing the examples of real people over the course of one year that are undertaking a proper human diet to overcome obesity, type 2 diabetes, depression, anxiety, fertility issues. We couldn't do it without you. We thank you so much. We are also selling these shirts, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet. Every penny we get from those goes towards the documentary. And last, we have memberships. If you click the little join button, it's best to do it on desktop. Under any one of my YouTube videos, you can join and become a member. We have hundreds of members right now. We do members only videos. We do members only behind the scenes. You can email me as a member and I'll answer you. Um, and every penny from that goes to support the documentary. And the last thing is we have these Redmonds portable salt shakers. These things are awesome. You can get the best salt. You can take it with you. We sell these on the website along with our water bottles and cutting boards and every penny from all of those goes 100% towards supporting the documentary. You can also sign up for our newsletter, which is completely free. All of these links are in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. Now back to today's video. The biggest fear should be getting to death having never really lived. The majority of humanity is going to reach death and they're going to breathe their last breath with having never lived truly lived. And that is one of the reasons I'm so passionate about this documentary. I started out being passionate about healing humanity because mental health, depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia, when people return to a natural human diet, I'm seeing those things reverse. It happened for me. Most of my adult life, I was clinically depressed and anxious and it ruined my life. And it's completely gone. It's a miracle. It's amazing, but I'm seeing it for so many other people. That's why I started doing this documentary, Healing Humanity. Then I started seeing, wait a minute, autoimmune disorders? Wait a minute, 
people with heart disease are reversing those things. Uh, type 2 diabetes, you can completely get rid of type 2 diabetes by just changing your diet. All of these other issues, traumatic brain injuries, autoimmune disorders, fertility issues. Young people struggling. What, what is one of the most beautiful things in the world? Having a family. I am so blessed. Triplets plus one. God blessed me with three girls at the same time, plus my older daughter. I have four children. No bigger miracle than that. So many people struggle to do that their whole life, and they're finding it through simply changing their nutrition. Dr. Robert Kiltz is a life changer. He's helped so many young couples start families that probably wouldn't have otherwise, simply by returning to what is natural. How can you not be fired up by that? I'm fired up for healing humanity for all of those reasons I listed, but more so what I'm just telling you about now. The majority of humanity right now, 8 billion people on this earth are not truly living. They had free will and they compromised it through this addiction and they're not admitting it. I want you to think about this. I get a lot of people that watch the channel for me and for my wife, Jen. They're looking for encouragement. They're looking for motivation. One thing I would encourage you is think about this. Are you addicted to food? Are you addicted to sugar? Or are you putting yourself in that class of, I'm just fine, I can moderate. Because I would strongly urge you, if you're watching this video, you probably are addicted to the standard American diet, to processed food, to sugar, you're probably addicted to it. And if you don't admit that, it's a dangerous thing. And people get mad at me, but if you come to my channel, I'm gonna give you the truth, I'm gonna give you honesty. I'm not gonna coddle you. People got mad at me because they said that I wasn't supporting Jen um, because I was disagreeing with things. I love my wife and I wanna grow old with her, but I'm not gonna coddle her and enable her addiction and say, yeah, you're just fine if you, if you do low carb and you just eat a little bit of salad um, and then you have some berries and some carbs in moderation. I know my wife, she knows herself, she was addicted. And now that she's, ad the first step to recovery is admitting you're addicted. And if you never admit that you have this addiction, what's gonna happen? You may uh, abstain from your addiction for a while, lose a bunch of weight, get healthier, and, but then what's gonna happen? You're gonna say, I could just eat in moderation like everyone else now, and then you're gonna have a little bit of that substance that you were addicted to, and you're gonna gain all that weight back, and you're gonna reverse all of that success. And there's nothing more devastating in this world than losing all of that weight, changing your life forever, and then reversing it, gaining it all back, and going back to that place of misery and hopelessness. I've done it myself, I've witnessed my wife do it, and I'm never gonna do it again because I know that I was addicted and now I am abstaining. So people are gonna get mad at me, people, people get fired up because probably they have a little bit of that addiction and they don't want to admit it. I know everybody's different, I know it's easier for men than women and people have their, their reasons and so on, but uh, that is my truth as I see it. And if you disagree with me, please leave a comment. My goal here is to share the honest truth, even if it's uncomfortable for people, because I wanna help people. I want people to feel like I feel and feel like I'm witnessing my wife's amazing transformation. I want people to feel like Jen. She's getting her life back, she's healing, she's thriving. It's amazing, it's beautiful, and there's nothing special about me, there's nothing special about Jen. We just did it and we're doing it. So I hope that helps you. Thanks so much for watching. Beep, 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 beep.